Ciao a tutti and welcome back into my channel. I'm Andrew C and this is Vape in Italy. Today I'm going to talk to you about an atomizer that comes from far. Today we move in Japan, a country not so famous for the vaping hardware, but where there is a motor that you will see. Today I'm going to talk to you about the S91 by 415 Mo Japan. Four One Five Mode is a brand born few times ago, precisely in June 2018. Behind this brand, there are two brothers, and the name of it is due to their own names. They do every part of their hardware in house, so nothing is outsourced. S91 should be read as 591 or Go, Q, Ichi in Japanese. I kindly ask to some Japanese viewer to add in the comment how it can be translated in English. This is not the first atomizer of this model, but it is for sure something that is encountering a good success in Italy. Why? I think that there are three main reasons. The first one the performance of this atomizer. The second one, the quality. Third, but not for importance, is that the official European reseller of this atomizer is Italian and it is one of the best vape shop I know. It is Atelier del Vapore and is located in Turin. I will add the link in the description. If you don't believe me, Please take a look to their website. But now, let's go down to the table for a deep view of this atomizer. The packaging is a black custody with 415 logo printed. Inside the custody, there is a zip lock containing spare parts like o-rings and screws and the atomizer. S91 is a Genesis styled atomizer. Dimensions are 20 mm in diameter, 45 mm in height from the tank bottom to the drip tip, 50 mm including 510 connection. Material used are full stainless steel 316 for the body, titanium for the anti-heat core, ultem for the tank and drip tip, insulators are in peak, brass positive pin on 510 connection. This combination of materials and design lead to an overall weight of about 40 grams. Based on appearance, the S91 looks absolutely classic. But inside the outer skin, there's something really interesting. Let's see what the modder did, disassembling completely the S91. S91 can be disassembled in seven main components. Starting from the bottom of the tank, we can see the 510 connection with the brass positive pin, the 415 logo, the atomizer name and the serial number. Bottom of the tank is flat and combined with the outer sleeve in Utem offers a capacity of 2 ml. Positive post is central and has a thread on lower part that coupled with the brass pin. The shape of the post couples on upper part with the deck section. Tightening the positive pin 
the positive post engages with the deck section and all together the tongue and the deck. I'm sure that the most of you already understood how this atomizer has to be built, just looking at the configuration of the deck. The two posts has difference in height. This atomizer is designed to fit vertical coil. Posts are full of details, starting from the lateral fins and concluding with two shoulders that surround the screw head and help during the coil building. The central hole between posts connect the deck and the tank section and it is made to accommodate 3mm mesh roll. Yes, this atomizer is designed to be built with mesh, but don't worry, it can be used also with cotton. The deck chamber has a particular shape. Let's have a look on it. The chamber over the deck is obtained in an almost rectangular slot in a part called anti-heat core. Dimensions of the slot are 14 by 6 mm and the depth is about 9 mm. The sky of the chamber is flat with slight radius on the corner. The anti-heat core, made in titanium, is surrounded by cooling fins. During vaping, most of the airflow crosses a 2x1.5mm slot and reaches the coil, but part of the airflow deviates and hit the core investing the cooling fins that surrounds the core. We already saw the lateral air channel in the core. The outer bell has three different air regulation holes that vary from 1 to 1.4 mm with 0.2 mm increment. The coupling between the deck and the bell allows a partial rotation of the bell, so by rotating the bell, a different regulating hole is oriented in front of the air channel. The drip tip is in Ulta with 510 connection and it has a central air channel of 2.5 mm in diameter. This is the S91 by 415 Mod Japan. As usual, we have a last closer look of it and then we switch the camera for some final considerations. So, here we are with the S91 by 415 Mod Japan. This atomizer is for sure something that stands out for quality. The machining and the finishing level of this atomizer are absolutely at the top. In my opinion, is impressing also the overall design of this atomizer and the design of every single component. Some words about the performance and the behavior of this atomizer. I'm honest, this is the second atomizer I have that is made for mesh building. And I found it very easy to be built, even if it is with mesh. As you know, mesh is in general a nightmare, especially for the first regeneration of the, of the atomizer. But in this case is absolutely simple and it start working immediately so it is absolutely user-friendly 
and it can be used also with cotton, so it's even simpler. It is the first atomizer that I see with a heat treatment feature. The anti-heat core is effective and this appears perceptible after some intense vaping. If you draw or if you vape for one minute, one minute and a half, you will feel immediately the difference in temperature between the outer bell and the core inside the, the atomizer. This difference is for sure due to the combination of design and material of the two components. The combination of titanium and fins keep the core cooler than the outer bell. This is also the first time I see a chamber over the deck with a rectangular shape. Well, I was impressed also by this. I tested this atomizer with several flavors, starting from fruity, bright tobaccos, uh, then I tested creamy flavors, and I concluded with um, dark tobacco flavors. In my opinion, this atomizer is generous in terms of flavor, even if it tends to dry a bit the taste is. In my opinion, it performs well with uh, fruity and creamy tobacco tastes. Uh, it performs well also with um, dark tobaccos and blend, uh, like English mixture or Balkan mixture, they are really good. Even if it pushes a little bit too much the smokiness of this uh, blend. I tried it with the both builds, um, so with mesh and with cotton, and between the two I prefer the mesh building, even if I still have to improve my technique. Please remember, as usual, these are my opinions based on my preferences, and they can differ from your ones. The airflow is well calibrated and smooth, um, it's linear and it is designed for a pure MTL vaping. It does not allow so many regulation, but it has a good contrast, so I would say that it is absolutely okay for an MTL vapor. The motor developed the kit that transformed the S91 in a BF RDTA with horizontal coil. This add-on includes BF pin, revised positive post, upper chamber in ultem, outer bell in ultem as well. The installation of this add-on is pretty simple. Replacing the standard positive pin and post, the atomizer earns the bottom filling feature and on the deck the two posts appear aligned in 8. The anti-heat core is now replaced by the upper chamber in ultem that covers the post and expose the coil to the chamber created by the outer bell. A special thanks to my friend Abbos Vapo for lending me this add-on. Grazie avvocato. Four one five Mob Japan is a brand quite new in this vaping world, but it is clear which is their target and where they want to go. My best congrats, guys. This is really a masterpiece of atomizer. This is it for the S91. 
I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you will find some useful link in the description as well as my pages. Subscribe to this channel, click on the bell, comment the video and let me know what do you think about it. See you next time. Ciao and arigato!